Hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> oh my word, I have a message that's trying to come through um, from a Divine Masculine. So, let's see. Um, Got my music on. There's a lot of energy. Like, I kind of feel excited and giddy. You are the greatest thing about me. Like, this Divine Masculine is so... So excited. Like, I can't quit grinning. <laughs> We're two birds of a feather. <laughs> two birds of a feather. <laughs> okay, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so. Somebody is stuck in this cycle of repeating the same situation over and over and over again. The cycle is done. Cycle's done. Cycle's done, and I'm hearing you're creating this, okay? It's time to let the cycle go because there's something that's trying to come in. This Divine Masculine is trying and I can, like, I feel this excitement. You know how you feel right before you do something that's going to be a major rush or adrenaline rush? Like, for me, um, I'm terrified of heights. Terrified. Terrified of heights. And right before I get on a roller coaster, I literally feel like I'm going to um, like a pass out. My hands start sweating. I start getting like excited and nervous and I love riding roller coasters but it happens every single time. And it's time to start feeling that nervous that excited, that come to the edge because there's something waiting on you right on the other side. Um, every time I let go and let God lead the way, it literally feels like I'm free falling. And then he's like, here you go, here you go. And this divine masculine, I feel like is, is either experiencing this of getting ready to change directions getting ready to turn around and go a different way or this divine feminine let me pull some tarot this divine feminine is struggling with trusting her intuition This round and rounds definitely internal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got a choice to make. Definitely have a choice. And the choice is going to be, do we go through the same cycle again? Or do we heal and move in a new direction? Because that's where the round and rounds coming into play. Okay, so. Round and round. I have the Seven of Cups, King of Wands, and the Star. Notice that they're all looking 
at the past. They're all looking at the past. Now the star's looking down at the water, but the king of wands is looking right at the choice. Um, are, you want to, are you wanting to repeat the negative? Or are you afraid you're going to make the wrong choice? Because I have Nine of Pentacles, which is slow, steady movement, solid. Eight of Swords, which is in right in the middle. And then Wheel of Fortune. So destiny is at play here and then the next two cards is going to be ace of pentacles ace of cups but why are you afraid of that why are you afraid of the new beginning are you afraid it's going to be a burden it's not going to be what you wanted i had the king of wands and the queen of wands The choice is, are you going to continue fighting with the cycle or are you going to lay the cycle down? Because that's the burden that needs to be laid down. Because there's a victory that's coming. It's not all for nothing. I got three tens, ten of wands, ten of swords, will of fortune, which is a ten. So, put the burden down of the pain. It was lessons that needed to happen in order to move you into this beautiful energy. That's what's holding you back. That's the cycle that's up to be repeated. Okay? Are you going to put it down? Or are you going to say, hey, I've learned enough? Or are you going to start back all over again? Because it's been a journey over the last year to get you to this point. But it's what had to happen. The will of fortune. This is destined. Um, also, we have the dark moon that's going to be coming up on Monday. So, with that dark moon, you know, see the cycle, see what's repeating, because we are in Mercury retrograde. Retrograde's all about, have you learned the lessons? Have you learned the lessons? <laughs> That's why exes show back up. Sometimes they show back up just to see. If you learned your lesson and if you have lay it down lay it down thank you I'm glad that I learned that now it's time to move into 911 on my clock move into this passionate look we got and the king's looking right at her that king knows exactly and she's kind of you know, looking to the side, kind of like, hmm, hi. <laughs> I have Virgo, Sag, Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Scorpio. And then the water signs are here too. Um, I 
love the energy. I love where you're going. And your divine masculine saying, hey, lay it down. Lay it down. You don't need to carry that burden anymore. I see you. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, even when you cry, you're beautiful too? You're my downfall, my worst distraction, my rhythm and blues. Aww. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. I hope these messages find you well. Make the decision. Are you ready to lay the burden down? Or do you want to go through the cycle again? I'd lay it down. Burn it, release it, let it go. Cleanse it with water. She have some amazing energy that's trying to come in. All right. I hope these messages find you well. Bye.